How to solve riverboat problems. Riverboat problems help us understand relative motion, which is how objects move in flowing water. To solve them, we need to understand three important velocities. One, velocity of the river, the speed at which the river flows, pushing the boat sideways. Two, velocity of the boat in still water, the boat's speed if the river weren't flowing. Three, actual velocity of the boat, the boat's final movement after considering the river's flow. A boat starts from one side of the river and moves at an angle theta with the vertical. The river flows in the positive x direction, and the width of the river is w. To solve this, we break the boat's movement into two parts. Sideways motion along the x-axis is affected by the river's speed and the boat's angle. It is found using the formula. Velocity along axis equals river velocity minus boat velocity times sine of the angle. Forward motion along the y-axis helps the boat move straight across the river. It is calculated as velocity along y equals boat velocity times cosine of the angle. The time the boat takes to reach the other side depends on how fast it moves in the forward direction. This is given by time equals river width divided by the boat velocity times cosine of the angle. As the boat crosses, the river pushes it sideways, causing drift. Drift is the extra distance the boat moves along the x-axis due to the river's flow. It is calculated as drift equals river velocity minus boat velocity times sine of the angle multiplied by the river width divided by the boat velocity times cosine of the angle.